اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فارمالی تو ایوری ون تمام پارٹسپنٹ کے لیے ان سوری فور دا ڈیلے بکوز ہم سوچ رہے تھے کہ وہ لوگ زیادہ ہو جائیں گے تو ان کو فائدہ نہیں ہوگا ناؤ وی ہیو کوائٹ اے بگر پلیٹ فارم اباؤٹ فائیو ہنڈریڈ پارٹسپنٹس میں اف یو الاؤ کین آئی میوٹ آل اف یو فار وائل یس سر پلیز یس سر Again, um, this is our uh, Quranic prayer, Rabbi Zidni Ilma. We always start with this because we pray for enhancement of knowledge. MRCGP is one step towards enhancement of knowledge. And that knowledge should be used for the benefit of patients and mankind. Basically, in the next one hour, we'll be talking about uh, MRCGP and OSCE. And we'll communicate in English because there may be participants who do not understand Urdu. So bear with me. Uh, English is not our mother tongue. So uh, we'll try to explain things as simple as possible so that everybody can understand. And for this course, my simple introduction is I have been an MRCGP OSCE trainers in the last 17 years. So in, in the Middle East and Pakistan and those who do not know um, my entire training my entire work my entire scope of work my entire interest is all in family medicine i have two memberships and two fellowships in family medicine and my area of interest is training of working doctors those who are already practicing their grooming their capacity building their career growth and their qualifications so i will start with the first picture this picture was taken in 2009 in riyadh uh, military hospital in riyadh and this is the first ever batch of mrcgp int in riyadh there are some doctors mohammed ali in the black jacket in the left is from egypt the others are from sudan dr aban usmani dr iram usmani uh, dr fasiha and dr khalid dr mahmood They were the final batch of MRCGP in South Middle East. Just for the sake of clarity, we are talking about OSCE. OSCE, OSCE, OSCE. The OSCE means Objective Structured Clinical Examination. Those who have passed MCPS, they know TOCS. It's just like uh, TOCS. Uh, this is a standardized exam. By standardization, we mean the same environment is given to all the candidates same level of exams same cases same simulated patient same script so everyone is given an equal chance in a standardized form on the day of exam nobody can change everything is predetermined reviewed standardized before the exams for the sake of justice with the candidates The MRCGP exam is one of the uh, high quality exams, very well structured, very well uh, quality assured. So let's start. Let's start. Let's assume, assume that the day of OSCE has come and you have woken up and taken breakfast and you have left your home and you have arrived at the exam station so the first thing is to arrive before time sometimes roads are blocked okay sometimes um, you don't have parking space sometimes you do not find the way to the hall so it may be confusing so it's always good to reach before time and then when you go there you report and then your phones gadgets wallets purses bags they are um, taken away from you and stored and you are given a token number that's a standard procedure in an exam then you all will be gathered in a hall and one or two examiner will come and brief you about the exam so nothing to worry they will give uh, uh, tell you the rules of the game and that will relax you people then they will uh, give you a serial number 
Suppose you are 18 people, they make you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 18. Okay. And then you go to the hall and you are you are allotted your station according to serial number. The OSCE of MRCGP is coordinated very well, very nice, and according to serial number. Once you enter the hall, you are you are asked to stand outside the station. This is called allocation of stations. So is the slide changing? Just just uh, any message. Is the slide changing? Can you see the picture? People are standing. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a picture of a, a candidate briefing in another exam that was Diplomat Board of Family Medicine exam. So two experienced examiners are talking to the candidates, addressing their concern. And uh, this is called candidate briefing. Then you enter the room and you are allocated a station. All the stations are marked one, two, three, four prominent uh, uh, labels. And outside the station, the instructions to the candidates are written. So you have two minutes to stand outside the station. And this picture is of actual mock OSCE exam conducted in Karachi by CIFM, our institution. So this is actual picture of the mock OSCE. Similar cubicles are made. So you have two minutes to stand outside the station and read the instructions carefully. Then once the OSCE starts, you just go from one station to the second, to the third, to fourth, fifth in a circuit. It is actually called a circuit. So you complete all your stations and then the exam finishes. You come out. Inshallah, you will come out successful. In total, in total, there are sometimes 18, sometimes 19 stations, in which 14 are active stations where you will uh, examine the patients, four or five may be rest stations. In the rest stations, you can rest, you can drink water, you can go, go to the washroom, and there are sweets there, the, the mint, mint candies, you can eat mint candies. So this is a typical model of an OSCE station, a typical, a cubicle, a temporary cubicle made, usually size 10 by 10 or 12 by 12, 12 feet by 12 feet. And the examiner, examiners, the brown face, usually sits near the door and the simulated patient and the candidate sit in a corner and there is a couch uh, behind the door. So space is enough, the, it can accommodate the simulated patient, the candidate examiner, and another examiner, sometimes two examiners. This is a pic actual picture of an, a mock uh, an OSCE that we conducted. And actually, the examiner is, in sit is not sitting too close. It is far away. And the examiner marks right there and then and signs that document. There are some stations, about half of the station may have physical examination. And sometimes the examiner stands up to examine how, to see how you are examining. And nothing to worry, just to make sure that the examiner observes you correctly. Nothing to worry if the examiner stands and behind you. There is nothing to alarm. So, the other important thing is instruction to the candidates. Instruction to the candidates are written at two places, outside the station and inside the station. So all of you must pay great attention to the instructions. That is the key. That is the question. That is the guide. To read the instructions carefully. And if you, um, it's written on the outside of the station, you have two minutes. So a good time to make your mind. And inside the station, another copy is there table. If you forget, you can look at the second copy. So what are the instructions to the candidate? You know, in OSCE, the examiner will not be talking to you. He will only observe you. Okay. 
So if he's not talking to you, how to tell you what to do? So what to do is called the instructions to the candidates. So written very clearly outside and inside the station. If you read this and you get the focus of this case, all the stations become very easy. Every station has a focus. Is it a communication? Is it a pediatrics? Is it a gynae? Is it a chest problem? Is it a TB? Or it's a diabetes? So you get the focus. This is one example of instruction to the candidates. So it's it may say like this. Mr. Jaffrey has come to see you for the first time to discuss his reports. He has had cough for three weeks. Please take a focused history and perform a focused examination and manage. His blood pressure is 120 by 80 millimeters of mercury. So this is the instruction. In the preparatory course, we will tell you, we'll teach you or guide you how to get the clues of this. OK. So even looking at this instruction, you can, you can uh, make your mind that there will be a report. You must see the report, discuss the report, analyze the report. So you have a cough. So it may be a respiratory system or cardiovascular system for three weeks. So three weeks is a clue that this is not an acute cough, it's subacute or nearing a chronic cough. So this will alarm you that this could be TB or post viral or could be something. It is not a common cold. It could be TB. Then instructions are focused history, focused examination, manage. So you will all allot your time, few minutes to history, few minutes to exam, and then, and a few minutes to management. His blood pressure is 120 by 80. What does this mean? This means his blood pressure is normal. Just to help you that don't look for cardiovascular causes, look for respiratory causes. This is the trick that you will learn through the course to get the clues of out of the instructions. The next step, like in a soldier or in army, you, you have weapons. As a doctor, we have tools. So in MRCGP OSCE, you only need a stethoscope. Rest of the equipment, be it the torch, tongue depressor, inhaler, peak flow, sanitizer, tendon hammer, tuning fork, everything, they are available inside the station. See? And it's a standardized package, which is present in all the station. So you cannot guess. Uh, uh, through the equipment, for example, in in MCPS, if you see a peak flow meter, then you think about a respiratory. Here you will find a peak flow meter in all fourteen stations. You will see a tendon hammer in all fourteen stations. You will see a placebo inhaler in all fourteen station, a torch in all of them. Okay, it's just like. Uh, making everything standardized and to avoid guessing very important very important distribution of cases okay which is called table of specifications some people call it blueprint so generally in mrcgp mcps diploma diplomats every anywhere in the world Medicine and allied has the biggest proportion of cases. Because in medicine, we have chronic conditions like diabetes and hypertension. We have infectious causes. We have acute medical conditions like UTI, typhoid, malaria, pneumonia, gout. OK? And there are so many. Uh, systems involved nephrology pulmonology cardiology so around four cases or five cases maybe of medicine and life 
surgery allied means like abdominal general surgery like pancreatitis appendicitis perforation these things and neck pain back pain sore throat hoarseness it means this surgery and allied means general surgery ent urology uh, orthopedics obs gynae and peds have equal proportion mother and child around two cases from each mental health two cases one may be counseling one may be a psychiatric disease and sometimes one or one case or two cases either from terminal care or geriatrics or ethical issues this is the general distribution of cases in any family medicine exam including mrcgp it may slightly vary okay so let's come what will the examiner look for in a typical station so examiners usually look at the communication skill they mark communication skills in mrcgp it is separately marked so those who have good communication skill they score high second history taking skills whether it is relevant focused and comprehensive and it does not miss danger signs physical examination skill clinical evaluation and judgment it's in a, it's it's important to make a correct diagnosis it's important to interpret labs correctly there may be an ecg there may be a chest x-ray there may be a urine report there may be a cholesterol report in the stations okay. then patient education and counseling sometimes counseling sometimes patient education is extremely important we all must master this skill pharmacological treatment non pharmacological treatment and overall safety netting and follow up plan or any prevention so these are the areas that we must focus on in exams and in real life and these are actually marked so sometimes sometimes cases may have special complex issue like in ethical stations there may be no exam but a lot of counseling patient asking for fake certificate may need a lot of counseling sometimes breaking bad news or non compliant patients terminal care at home with complex social issues suicidal patient needing admissions these are sort of atypical or special stations there may be no examination but you would need special skills of communication and quick decision making and a correct approach and we'd practice this in the course as well okay the next slide is case content this is an important slide because many people they write the cases and they practice 100 cases or 150 cases that's not the correct approach in exam usually we learn the approach to a station and we focus on the cases of south asia this is south asian exam mrcgp south asia so diabetes hypertension pneumonia malaria uti depression antenatal issues the other thing clinical examination is not required in all stations okay it's usually required in medicine and allied and surgery and allied clinical examination is usually not required in psychiatry issues gynae peds and ethical so almost half of the station will have examination and half of them may not have examination the other important thing to remember is the intimate examinations the examinations which can expose patients private parts is not included in mrcgp because of patient's respect and dignity they are not actual patients they are simulated patients so rectal exam vaginal exam breast exams they are not included but if it is required you just mention i would like to examine your back passage or i would like to uh, have an internal examination on you by my colleague by my female colleague i would like to examine your breast 
in the presence of my nurse. So you just mention, you do not do the exams. The other part, potentially damaging exams or painful exams. For example, ophthalmoscope. Once or twice it's fine, but 30 candidates examining the eyes of a SV, he will become blind. So no ophthalmoscope, no otoscope, no blood pressure. Because blood pressure can also damage the patient. So next slide. This slide talks about the entire duration of the exams. So if we have 14 stations and four rest station, it comes around 180 minutes, three hours. So three hour is the minimum duration you will be present in the hall. And the duration of each station is seven minutes. Oh, sorry, 10 minutes. So how it will start? The first there will be a bell or a whistle and the person will shout. Actually, the person will shout, please enter. And you will enter the station, the time will start. And after eight minutes, the same person will shout again, will give a barrel whistle and shout. Two minutes left, just to warn you, just to allow you to wrap up your case comfortably. And at 10 minutes, another bell or whistle will be uh, blown and uh, the person will shout again third time move to next station and then you will be standing outside the station for two minutes taking deep breaths reading the instructions and then cycle will start again he will say enter then you enter the new station this is how the whistles or the bells will ring Inside the station, there are 10 minutes, and this is a rough guide to distribute your time. Three minutes to history, three minutes maximum to exam, and four minutes to management. This is uh, a rough guide. Sometimes history may take four minutes, examination two minutes. Sometimes history two minutes and examination four minutes. Sometimes two minutes history and two minutes exam, six minute management. But this is a rough distribution of the uh, management of an office. So management, you should keep at least three or four minutes for management so that you can manage the case well. So most of the people, they know what is MRCGP, what are stations and what is the syllabus because the exam has been going on for many years now. But why do you need an orientation course? Why MRCGP people arrange orientation course? Why different trainers arrange courses? And why people attend courses? Because there's a background. We all know that most of the candidates are appearing through experience-based pathway. They have no formal training. And South Asia has so many hundreds of languages. Candidates from Middle East, they have different languages, different cultures. So. There's again some anxiety about this difference in language, difference in culture. And English is not our language. And we are we will be talking to patients in a foreign language. So sometimes we say something else and we mean something else. There's a difference in accent. There may be a difference in accent. And sometimes the Sri Lankan accent is very difficult to understand. For example, if you say very nice, a Sri Lankan will say very nice. <laughs> so you know, what is very? So because it's their accent. I'm not <laughs> uh, undermining the Sri Lankan language, but their accent. Just to give you one example. And sometimes in the Arabic accent, people have problems with the uh, they. they say, say, thank you. Thank you. Take a deep breast. Instead of saying, take a deep breath, they, sometimes they say, take a deep breast. So there's issues. So in course, we'll try to learn different languages, 
these key sentences so that we have we can easily communicate in English in Hexki. And this OSCE pattern is new for most of the candidates. Those who have passed MCPS, they are in a better position. Because, but it is new exam for most of us. We don't know how it will run. So we have some anxiety and fear and concerns. The other reason is why we need orientation courses. Because cases of MRC, GP, OSCE are not very simple cases. They have some level of complexity, some level of difficulty. So complex cases means there may be a patient with hemoptysis. He is a smoker. And he will tell you that his mother is having TB. Then you will be confused whether it's cancer or a TB. Because this family history is a complex thing. Sometimes there may be a working mother single mother uh, with depression and no social support and nobody to took care of children so a very difficult situation sometimes two old parents are living alone and their children are in the usa no social support they can't um, handle their own health so such complex issues may be in exam so during practice we we teach the participant about these complexities of the case. Then the other reason as well, because it's a one day exam, three hours and 14 stations of 10 minutes each. So it's a race against time and you have to manage all the cases within time. So in the, in the courses, all courses, I'm not talking about our course, all the courses, they are a blessing. All the courses are blessing because it's because of these courses that candidates easily pass. So in the courses, orientation courses, you learn how to get relevant information quickly. And you learn how not to miss important information. And you learn how to understand the complexity of a case and dig out the case and get to the complex in part and you learn how to perform relevant examination and quickly and proficiently and then you learn how to manage cases correctly and confidently confidence is not uh, enough alone you need to manage correctly and confidently so courses help you in these things okay so how we will try to train the candidates based on 17 years experience going through different phases so we have come up with the most comprehensive and compact mrcgp international course ever so it's a blended learning course those who don't know what is blended it's not a juicer blender it's blended means using different methods of education for enhanced learning so it's not one type of uh, training every different type of training focusing on the students and enabling them to pass the exams so the blended learning will have some interactive sessions it will have online sessions and in even mock exams so everything will help the candidates uh, to be more confident and to pass the exam so the duration of this blended course for 2024, it will take around two months. In the, by the end of December, the last two days, we'll have two online sessions. We'll discuss the basics online. I will take this session along with Dr. Ziaul Hassan and uh, our uh, uk faculty members and then we will have an intensive course it is the most intensive course of eight days but eight days actually are five working days and we have added the weekends so that those who want to apply for leaves they can apply for all five days only so it will start on a sunday saturday and end on a saturday
the online component will continue. And just before the exam in Karachi, inshallah, I will be there, Dr. Zawasan will be there, our faculty will be there, and uh, we will have the final revision and Mokowski. So this is the land. So let me take you through the different parts. The first part is online that uh, myself and Dr. Zia and other faculty members will teach you introduction, the communication skills, and how to prepare. So this is step number one. You can follow the titles. Step one, online basics. Step two, once you register, you will be entered into a Google Classroom. It's a learning software. In the classroom, you can watch the consultation videos, scripts of consultation you can read. You can watch the physical examination videos. You can find the important topics. You can find the list of previous exam questions. You can find the tips for passing those key and you can chat in the Google Classroom. That will continue till the exam. So this is a beautiful picture of Dr. Ziaul Hassan as a screenshot of a video. So we have some videos uh, specially designed for MRCGP uh, into OSCE. And you can will also have the script of these videos. And we'll try to engage the Dr. Rahil Akbar. So this is a picture of Dr. Rahil Akbar, which I took uh, early this year in his reading room. And uh, inshallah, his revised book and uh, will be presented to you as souvenir in Lahore, complimentary, because, of, uh, because that will be the launching of the new uh, MRCGP introduction with hundreds of new pictures, diagrams of focused examination, scripts, and updated information about the exam. So step number three, when you come to Lahore at Shalimar Tower Hotel, we will spend eight days together, inshallah. So every day, we will discuss uh, either medicine, surgery, psychiatry, and we'll have a small mini mock four station mock every day and try to allow different people to participate in mock exam for example participant one two three will have a mock exam on uh, the then the next day the candidate five six seven eight will have a mock the next day so everybody will get a chance every day and then have a break and then we'll provide you space space and an SP for practice of physical examination, dedicated space. We have booked different halls. So there you practice what you learn in the daytime, what you have seen in the mock exam, and you will practice. The mock exam will be run in a hall, and there will be cameras, cameras uh, in four stations. And the rest of the people will be sitting in a separate hall and virtually seeing what is happening in the mock. So then we can discuss these things. And then and, uh, we'll have a uh, dinner together, and then you will be free. <laughs> you will be squeezed to death by seven. But we'll try to use this time. This is called in-house training. So the whole day is a learning exercise. And from the breakfast till the dinner, and we'll be together in the lunch breaks, tea breaks, coffee breaks, and dinner. And then we'll leave, inshallah. So on day four, we'll have a full mock exam in which we'll try to record all the stations and give you your recordings and give a written feedback. And then another mock exam on the last day. So, so practically, you will have two big mock exams and small mock exam on daily basis and practice and learning. And after the hands-on session, we'll have four uh, online sessions on weekly basis. Then we practice online. We'll try to keep discussion, discussions in late evening so that it does not disturb your job. So this is step number four. Step num so this is one picture uh, where Dr. Zia was discussing online. 
the last part the apex the climax just before the exam so we will be repeating this activity three times the same activity repeated three times so one day revision one day mock eight station mock okay for candidates of day one two three and four 24th february and 25th february and then candidates of day five and six march one and march two and uh, for candidates day seven and day eight so it will be third and fourth march okay so everybody will have a chance of revising and going through in a second oski and we hope that this second oski will be po will polish you and will give you confidence to pass the exam very easily so next question is for those participants who are living in middle east so are you planning to hold course in uae yes previously we applied for visa there was an issue maybe because of the uh, palestinian conflict so we could not get visa now it's in the process it has started and we have applied and shara soon will get our visas so we will have a course in uae as well okay the tentative dates are end last week of january or the first week of february this will be uh, like previously five days course five days course okay five days course and day one two three four will practice different uh, aspects and day five will have a 10 station mock oski like uh, previous year so the venue for we are booked venue for uh, oski course that is city max hotel in business bay dubai and these are the links so it's a, a very nice hotel very new a hotel four star okay okay so and the second the lahore shalimar tower hotel is in jail road now straight away from airport uh, approach in very safe area of kulberg and actually we hold all our exams in this hotel because uh, and they know what we mean and what are requirements and our stations are there our equipment is there and they are well versed with family medicine training so this is very nice ambience as well so the other thing those who are coming from abroad the package the fee for pakistani course and the fee for ua course is same if you come to pakistan you will not pay extra and the same package a three star accommodation will also be provided at shalimar hotel to you so that is part of this you don't have to worry about transport you don't have to worry about accommodation uh, about refreshment everything is covered in the package including breakfast till dinner so it's a nice um, simple nice and clean and tidy hotel last part last part i told you all the orientation courses will help you so we respect all the courses but why our course because if you look at the history or track record we are the pioneers of mrcgp courses in pakistan we started in lahore and karachi i inaugurated all the courses i planned all the courses in lahore and karachi and saudi arabia and since 2006 we have been running distance learning cma actually we pioneered cme through cd through video conferencing use of technology in pakistan we also pioneered the mcps family medicine courses in pakistan and we have trained thousands of doctors through these blended techniques so we have a track record of 17 years starting from 2006 and luckily by the grace of allah we have the largest platform of teachers and the largest platform of training sites just to give you one example we have 23 professors in our team 35 assistant professors 80 more than 80 senior stars 200 visiting fac faculty members throughout pakistan so it's very easy for us to conduct courses and oskis in lahore and karachi because we have many trainers there teachers there who know how to conduct exams our team the other important thing that i will uh, this is my 
a last slide uh, uh, of uh, the presentation and then few picks. Most of the courses, they try to discuss cases. This case, this case, this case. This is just like having a bundle of keys. What we do is to we empower candidates. We give them basic skills so that they can handle any station anywhere in the world in any exam. So we call it master key approach. Have the master key of family medicine. Then don't worry about any family medicine exam anywhere in the world. Feel empowered. That's the unique characteristics of our courses. So for details, you can visit our website, which is cifm.com.pk, our Facebook page, YouTube channel, Instagram, our social media interfaces. And thank you for your kind attention. And I'm sorry, I muted all of you. So you must have a bubbling of questions and concerns. So one request, uh, I request you to write your questions in the chat box. I will go to the chat box and one by one try to answer all of your questions. That it will ease out thing. And uh, only raise hand if you have very burning issue or confusing. Because once we discuss the chat, almost 80 to 90% of the queries are addressed. Okay, so let me go to the chat box and you also go to the chat box and start writing your questions. And then I will unmute you. Okay, I will go to the first questions. The first go eight nineteen. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Those who have said salamu alaikum, please accept my walaikum salam. There's so many salam. So Dr. Fariha Salim. Ji walaikum salam, Dr. Rasul Baksh. Dr. Rabir, thank you so much, Dr. Rasul Baksh, for joining. And um, Dr. Zareen, uh, 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 who there? Yeah. Nice to see you. Congratulations to both of you. Walaikum salam. Thank you so much for being here from your class. That's great. great. So, Assalamu alaikum, sir. Ji, Dr. Rasul. Ji, Dr. Rasul. Wow. wow. موسیقی اس طرح کسی کو سمجھ نہیں آئے گا جسٹ ون بار ون اور سا پلیز ایک یو انیوٹ ان ریڈ دی گیٹ باکس کسٹنز اس بھی ایزی ایٹ وال سر پلیز ریڈ دی گیٹ باکس پلیز ریڈ دی گیٹ باکس ون من ون پلیز ون من ون پلیز ان میو ان میو ان میو ان میو ان میو ان میو Mute yourself. Mute yourself. Otherwise, I will mute you. Dr. Nasir, who is in the Saudi Arabia, who is in the Saudi Arabia, who is in the Saudi Arabia? Just mute yourself. Mute. 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 So, before we go to the questions, three previous participants who attended our course in Dubai, are with us. They can share their uh, first-hand experience. Um, first, uh, Dr. Zareen is here. Dr. Zareen Ashraf, uh, can unmute yourself and briefly share your experience of learning uh, with CIFM, and then Dr. Rasul Baksh, and then Dr. Faisal from uh, UAE. Please, Dr. Zareen. 
ഫോർ <laughs> so then we then the, the doctor nasir shah is doing the course and my, many of my friends they recommended that you must attend the doctor nasir shah course and uh, really when i attended it really helped me like from the i from the scratch i and i passed the exam in the first go alhamdulillah like uh, sir just started from the basic like first is the basic is the greeting how you greet the patient and how we have to say everything like how we have to walk into the room like this is a very basic thing maybe many of us ignore this thing but it is the important uh, thing which i learned also that this is very important how you enter the room and how you greet the patient how you say how you introduce yourself and ask from the patient so this was the very basic thing which uh, this has started from this thing and uh, otherwise also was very helpful but the, which very helped it was the oski uh, the mooc oski like uh, we have the fear like how we'll go in the exam how in the 10 minutes time we'll finish the station but even with the little preparation like in the sir uh, oski we did very good like 10 k stations were there and two i failed <laughs> and other i passed but alhamdulillah like it helped us a lot in many ways like there are many things like what changes are there in the exams uh before they used to tell that they take the eyes like idea concern and expect expectations everybody is doing previously who took the exam they are telling must ask eyes but like sir told us that like, there are recent changes that only just uh, can ask about the concern what is the patient concern don't waste time on the other things so like this is the thing whenever you attend the course from uh, like this so you you will be able to learn like how you have to take the exam what recent changes are there in the exam what recent things you have to you have to how to approach the exam and even then even then he said told us that even the, you don't know anything about the pay, diagnosis you don't know anything about the management so just take the normal history from the patient how you take the history just take the history whatever is complaint is there just do the examination and if you don't know the diagnosis and anything just simply tell explain to the patient that i am referring you to the specialist doctor so he will guide you better i am not I mean, even then you can do the best in the in, in the station if you don't know the diagnosis if you don't know anything about that that patient like it it really helped us a lot mm-hmm. like we were very confident about this thing that if, if we don't know anything even then we can do more than 70 80% in the station so this is this was really really very helpful and really nobody tells all these things okay, all other so are right that all of the people the people are attending courses they just they just they do the cases just they are um, we are they are doing the 70 cases five for every student like this is not the way like you have to learn through the basics and then you go step by step so this is the way actually so alhamdulillah it helped us a lot and many of i like 14 15 from us 11 or 12 i think we passed alhamdulillah in the first go so like i never expected that i can do this so alhamdulillah uh, sir yeah, really you. helped us a lot nahin jazakallah thank you so much uh, dr zareen said if you do not know anything about the case still you can pass it that's we call shambakshu disease is an imaginary disease where you don't know anything not a single word about a disease yet you learn the approach and pass the station that we will discuss so thank you dr uh, rasul bakh saab your brief feedback yes, uh, thank you so much sir uh, good evening everybody uh, my experience uh, with sir i have the uh, since so long i think sir uh, 
2018, I'm with, uh, connected with uh, Sir. I did first uh, MCPS in Finley Medicine, Alhamdulillah, in the first attempt, and uh, I again completed my RCGP again in the first attempt. So sometime I'm telling uh, uh, my experience to everybody, if I can pass in the first time uh, with the help of uh, Dr. Nasser Shah, so anybody can do it. The thing is that we need to do the, uh, the basic things. Uh, we have a lot of the knowledge, mashallah, everybody knows about uh, everything, uh, especially they have the knowledge uh, in AKT, they pass the return test. So we need here especially the thing which is the uh, main, how to get the examination, how to pass the examination. So we have to follow the guidelines which is given by the study especially. Uh, the, I just uh, continue the Dr. Zarin, which she informed us, she told that we need to even don't know about the case, the which case is the uh, diagnosis, but we have to follow the map. If we follow the map, the 90% we pass the case. So the, especially I just uh, recommended everybody, everyone who is, we know we are uh, everybody the good in the return, we have the knowledge but we need to follow the proper protocols. So the protocol which uh, only we will get uh, from the Dr. Nasser Shah. We had a lot of the confident, especially many other people in the market, they are doing very well. They are doing the uh, other courses, classes, one-to-one, -one. but uh, the confident, which you will get by the group discussion, the confident you have to be physically come on the OSCE courses, there's no match. Uh, we people here, our group was the first time Sarah uh, visited us uh, and we carried out the OSCE in the UAE Dubai. We were the 14 candidate and among 14 candidate, the uh, 11, Alhamdulillah passed. So it is a big ratio. Either one, he had some issue with the uh, visa. visa. So among the 14, we passed the, uh, we will see the 12 we have passed. So it was a big ratio, more than 80% we passed from the circles. And one more thing I just want to add with everybody's knowledge that other, the the other doctors, they are doing the OSCE, they are doing, but no one is doing the mock test. It is very important, uh, really, once you will go through the mock, and from once you get the mock test, you have the full of confidence. You are all the fears, you are all the concerns. It will be, you know, you know once we go through, and when we finish the mock test and uh, we do realize that what is our condition, where we have to concentrate more the things and uh, really uh, helped a lot. So again, thank you so much, uh, Sir Dr. Uh, he always kind uh, and polite and uh, you see always his smiling face. So, uh, so this thing, uh, really a matter a lot for mm -hmm. us. Uh, so my best wishes with mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. And again, I recommend everyone to follow the footprints of the Dr. Nasser Shah and inshallah, they will uh, success. Best of wish to everybody. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Jazakallah. Um, Jazakallah. And last, last briefly, Dr. Faisal from UAE. Assalamu alaikum, sir. जी सर मैं डॉक्टर रवीना फैसल बात कर रही हूं डॉक्टर फैसल की मिसेस एक्चुअली मैंने पास किया था तो सर डॉक्टर साहब ने मुझे कनेक्ट कर दिया था आपके थ्रू तो सर मेरा भी क्वेरी यह है कि मैं ज्वाइन करना चाह रही थी आपका मैंने इश्तियाक साहब से भी رابطہ किया था तो उन्होंने कहा था कि आपको लाहौर आना पड़ेगा तो मैं इस वक्त दुबई में ही हूं तो आप मुझे बता दें कि मैं अभी यहां से करती हूं तो फिर कंटिन्यू दुबई में करूं आप आएंगे तो 
हाँ थैंक यू सो मच सॉरी मैं थोड़ा सा इंग्लिश में जवाब दूंगा बिकॉज देर आर पीपल हुन डॉक्टर इंसान इज दैट शी इज लिविंग इन दुबई एंड इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर हर टू कम टू लाहौर एंड दी ऑनलाइन कंपोनेंट इज सेम फ्रॉम दुबई एंड लाहौर इट डज नॉट मेक अ डिफरेंस द लास्ट फाइनल इज इन कराची Everybody has come to Karachi, either from Lahore or from Dubai. So last part also does not make a okay. difference. The hands-on practice okay, session, sir. so we'll try to hold in Lahore, and also in okay. Dubai. Dubai it will be five days, okay. and in Lahore it will be eight days with two mocks and daily practice sessions and a, a very intensive eight days of uh, course in Lahore, and we'll keep the fees the same. because in lahore it's very cheap to conduct courses it's cheaper than dubai so that's why we are adding more courtesies to the course see so last dr faisal ki wo nahi aaye dr faisal mithai se bach rahe hain so chal anyway i'm going to sir take the dr faisal we need his uh, uh, you know is always and this moment also sir we want to his feedback <laughs> no 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 he is busy with uh, some other work and uh, duty actually he has a duty today yeah. so we'll eat mithai from uh, or we'll get a treat from okay so let me go to the chat box when you come back to... sir you are coming uh, to dubai then uh, we have the plot of the sweets for you <laughs> okay. okay okay thank, thank you sir thank you. thank you thank you so much so dr faria salim has asked mock karachi may hoga the mock will be conducted in La- karachi yes the final mock and the final revision will be in karachi two days before the exam date and we will repeat that activity three times so that candidates do not have to come too early we will make triple efforts so you just come two days before your exam date and spend that two days with us dr nafisa khalik can you share link of whatsapp okay fine I'm waiting for mock again in Galaxy Hotel. No, this time I think we are holding in Mehran Hotel. Doctor Iram Qureshi, can you send link? Okay, Assalamu Alaikum, Alaikum Salam. Okay, Doctor Isa Bhatt, Doctor Kavita, Assalamu Alaikum. Hey, so please share your friends. <laughs> okay, Doctor Kavita, that message is for you. Okay. Picture questions are in voice of not in a session. Ha. Doctor Bilkis Yahya is asked when in Dubai. Uh, I just mentioned. Not a base. Not yourself. So, Doctor Bilkis is asked when in Dubai. It will be hopefully last week of January or the first week of. February. Doctor Sadia Jamil has asked timing for online. We'll try to arrange timing online. At this time, it's after five o'clock for you people, so that you can come from your jobs and then attend the session. Then Doctor Sarvat Arif has asked how many days online? Total six days online. Two days in uh, in December thirtieth and thirty first, and four days in. Uh, Uh, January and February. Doctor Imjad Hussain from Jang has asked, heard so much about him. Author of Rahil notes. Yes. Doctor Noor Fateh. Noor Fateh. Noora Fateh. He. When will start online on thirty first December? Doctor Aisha Baloch has asked. Doctor Nasir Shah. Salam. वालेकुम सलाम जी डॉक्टर मतलब बात कर तो मान से जी डॉक्टर तावला सर फर्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू रियली अप्रिशिएट योर कोर्सेज बिकॉज़ आई हैव अटेंड फॉर द एमसीपीएस फैमिली मेडिसिन एंड इट वाज रियली सो कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव एंड लॉट ऑफ पीपल दे वर आस्किंग मी एंड आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई पास्ड इन मर्सी जीपी साउथ एशिया एंड रियली आई एम सो मच थैंकफुल टू यू बिकॉज़ माय एमसीपीएस फैमिली मेडिसिन वाज नॉट पॉसिबल other than you if you would, if you would have not teach me really mm-hmm. you are uh, i think 
best teacher in the world in the way you are transferring the knowledge in our mind that is amazing really heads off for you so uh, most of them they were asking me and really i was recommending your course i uh, i was telling them that once you will listen to dr nasir shah sahib you will see how he is teaching he is amazing personality he will give you the examples you will never forget those examples so really i'm thankful too much to you uh, and sir i have so one question because we are busy with duties uh, like uh, i i participate in your mrcgp oski uh, so there will be some video records for it if like we are uh, unable to attend online session uh, there will be videos for it or not yes online session will be recorded and shared with you all the online thank sessions you. thank okay. you so much your, your mock yeah. station mock stations will be recorded and shared with you personally confidentially so you can watch yourself how you are sitting how you are talking how confident you are that will be a blessing your record for you when i saw you sir then dubai is easy for me then in the same fees can i attend your uh, uh, face to face uh, interaction in dubai like you said at the end of the january same uh, first uh, same fees same fees dubai is expensive uh that's why we do not give accommodation and in lahore we give the three star accommodation in the same fees okay chale thank you so much uh dr aisha baloch has asked for saudi arabia people saudi arabia people can come to lahore or they can attend in dubai there are two options for the people dubai course is 5 days and lahore course is 7 days and whole day residential course Doctor Noor Fateh, ah, uh, Doctor Fateh, sir, I had uh, already joined your course of family medicine. I am here for two weeks. Okay, great. Doctor Nafisa Khalik, sir, what about candidates from Riyadh? They can either come to Lahore or they can go to uh, Dubai. It's up to them. Whichever is convenient, whichever is cheaper. Doctor Sarva Tarif, it's not possible to come to Lahore because of flight, etc. So how? Karachi only, ha. Karachi only. Uh, this is not in pieces, different pieces. It's one complete package. A com complete package of online, Google Classroom, off hands-on session, everything. So we are not planning to make chop it into small pieces. So no separate fees for Karachi only. Same fees if people can come for Karachi or the entire course. La Dr. Faria Lahore is so lucky. Inshallah, once the candidates increase, we can hold uh, the courses in Karachi or Saudi Arabia as well. Dr. Afshan Afis, Assalamu alaikum, alaikum salam. Online mocks? No, no, online. Dr. Hina Javed has asked. Online mocks? No, mock is actually the environment of the exam. In mock, there will be hall, cubicles, examiners, SPs. Ten minutes time. same whistle same shouting same cases same marking and the pressure of exam this cannot be done online you have to jump into the swimming pool you have to jump in the rear it's just like real exam if you remember dr zareen just said and i can if i remember correctly dr zareen failed <laughs> she said i failed the mock but passed the real exam it's just like real exam not less than uh exam sir ji i am the student of dr nasir shah sahab since so many years life no no and dr imjad is a special person special affiliation for family medicine and neurology is an expert in neurology as well dr amir nawaz hum bhi online student hai chuke okay dr isa but sir what for local or lahore based candidates local for our lahore based candidates it's the same intensive course and it will cover the karachi the online the mock exams everything dr imjad says we did real time sessions face to face with dr nasir shah and fatima memorial and also uhs certificate thank you dr imjad for remembering dr sadia jamil why so late in karachi dr sadia karachi course is not a separate course Dr. Sadi Jamil, it's not a separate course. 
इट इज द फाइनल पॉलिश कंपोनेंट ऑफ द कोर्स मैंने बात करनी है अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर सर देन नेक्स्ट डे इज द आवर रियल एग्जाम सो हाउ कैन वी कैन कम एंड अटेंड द होल सेशन ऑफ प्रिपरेटरी कोर्स वे द एग्जाम सर यू आर वेल मैं सर यू आर जस्ट डूइंग प्रिपरेटरी कोर्स वन डे बिफोर आवर रियल एग्जाम सो हाउ कैन वी अटेंड दैट इज नॉट अ प्रिपरेटरी कोर्स दैट इज the those who have attend online courses google classrooms those who have attend the hands on and for them just before the exam one last final touch is the final part not a separate course so actually it's more difficult hota hai ki hum ek din pehle mock de rahe hain aur agle din hum mock de rahe hain aur usme bhi hum itne intense ho rahe hote hain aur sir pura din lag raha hota hai and it's very helpful very helpful we have done it uh, successfully okay sir and dr sadia aap you have just to come even in real life people do not come on the night of exam people come two days before the exam and they wait in the hotel so we are using that waiting time of the candidates because of the flights people come at least one day or two days before their exam date so we are using that time acha the other course dr amir nawaz says mashallah sir aapke lucky hain hum to covid mein the acha they are talking dr imjad is talking to other acha sir why karachi dates are same as real exam dates dr kavita karachi dates are uh, not the same it is for different days of the exam so we are giving two chance to all the candidates and saving their time for example it's a eight days exam exam will be conducted for eight days in karachi so candidate on day 8 he cannot come very early one week early so for day 7 and 8 we have separate course same course repeated for day 5 and 6 same course repeated day 1 2 3 and 4 same course repeated so we'll repeat the course so that candidates do not have to come very early they are just come two days before their exam okay sir 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 just let me clear it because i have put the question on the chat box so uh, as you saying this uh, if uh, it's a two day revision so then it wouldn't be mock it's just a revision class am i right one day revision one day mock okay uh, for example i have my exam on like on first uh, sorry third march then yeah. what should i attend is supposed to on karachi uh, because i'm from karachi so i would like to attend so uh, should i take from on 28 or 26 uh, 26 or 27 uh, february two days course you know you said uh, one day no. mock one day revision no, before that third, i was it is third day four day of which day third day um, i have put my like exam date on third march so if third it march, fourth day i think fourth day or fifth day i think it's the fourth day in the fifth day fifth day so you will attend two days before your exam the day of second mar- first march and second march first march revision okay. second march mock third march real exam so then uh, sir uh, how it m- m- mock benefit be before like one day before mock if i'm giving obviously i uh, my anxiety and that is going to definitely help me a lot because i have faced that in real exams anxiety which uh, through mock so it would be lesser but what about the my uh, you know weakness how can i overcome in a day <laughs> or if i'm lacking in examination or anything which is have to be super super precious you know for that, better for that you have to attend the lahore component the major 8th day component <laughs> so just okay no, no if, just, if i you know if i'm attending your online and lahore component or if i not coming over there and your classes are attending online uh, because so only kanachi option i have in physical session that's so that's 40% of the course and you want to miss the 60% of the course and <laughs> that is a major same benefit, same benefit of 100% from 40% so <laughs> those who attend okay a- i got you days. i got you okay so thank, thank you sir, sir. thank you 
correct it i think uh, those i don't know some of the doctors they are i think they are confusing attending uh, two days before your real exam actually it is uh, like if you are sitting in the room and studying for yourself i think uh, it's far more better to attend it in a um, close with the colleagues it is uh, like uh, you are uh, just revising your course so what is the issue with that i don't know for me like i will uh, really uh, i will enjoy it two days before uh, 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 Rather to study it in my room, why not to attend it with Dr. Nasir Shah Sab in a mock one day before? So no, I have no, to. No, no, Dr. Atalla, I was asking yeah. because if 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 in case we are not attending the Lahore because which is a major thing, that's why I was said how it helped going to two days before because uh, if as I cleared it because for that we have to attend the Lahore component as well, which going to help in uh, our real examination, you know. So I cleared it, this thing. Uh, I was. Uh, asking in that way if i'm not I, i'll be able to attend the lahore session then uh, before two day just to go and uh, you know attend this this wouldn't be help me for so that i so cleared it that for this purpose i have to attend the lahore as well or you can come to uh, Dr. Dr. Dubai, Dubai. Dubai. you can come to Dubai, Dr. <laughs> no sir <laughs> if i come loud so more than enough for me dubai i will go and another exam i will go obviously okay I'm now it's clear. it's clear let's move forward okay thank you thank you let's move forward uh dr hina says arrange one more in karachi yes we are arranging uh last mock in karachi dr fariha manzoor gills Sir, what about ESA? No course will be held in Jeddah. No, Jeddah will not. In Saudi Arabia, it's not a free uh, uh, space like Dubai, where you have so much relaxation and facilitation. Uh, it's not so open yet. Once it's open, then we can. Uh, we are planning to start in Riyadh, not Jeddah. It's a central place. And um, Dr. Abdul Jabbar. Should we join the course after passing AKT? Yes, Abdul, Dr. Abdul Jabbar. This course is meant only for those who have passed AKT. Those who have not passed AKT should not join this course. Dr. Nafisa Khalik, any course in Riyadh? Not yet. Nafisa, inshallah, we're planning to start in Riyadh. We have spoken to so many people. So Saudi Arabia is not that open or easy. But we'll find our way to Riyadh as well, inshallah. Sir, just last one question, please. Sorry, I have to come again. Sir, uh, as it? you uh, mentioned about the Rahil book, a revised new edition, which is going to be in this course. Sir, is it only yes. for those students who are supposed to take a course or if someone want to buy the books, they can't take it? Just tell me this thing. No, no, they can, they can, they can get, get it and they, they have to buy in the course, we'll give it souvenir signed by Dr. Rahil. Okay, otherwise we wouldn't go to the sign of Dr. Rahil. We get the books. Yes, what's for published, anybody can buy it, but in the course, we'll launch it. Oh, so, so. thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So I Dr. have Isa your book. signed book. So please explain, if I am a student president of Lahore, I want to join the mock. I want to join the mock. Oski, sessions for preparation. Mute, 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 mute. Small kids. I am resident of Lahore. I want to join the mock Oski session for preparation. What package you offer already registered in your course? Achha, course fees is already decided. And uh, for that, for discounts, or for members or faculty so you can uh, contact ishtiak for that so we have faculty those who are faculty of cifm and just to i can announce the 20 percent discount for those who are already faculty of our cifm like dr Avaz, and those who are members of cifm they they get 10 percent so members 10 percent discount faculty 20 percent discount Dr. Sadia Jamil, and for that you have to contact Ishtiak and we'll check our certificates of registration, certificate of faculty. Achha. Sir, one more question, please. Mm -hmm. What I come on in your faculty or in your student or what percentage I get? Just let me know. Achha. Uh -huh. Achha. 
so you want to play around with the fees and then you will come to lahore if you promise you come to lahore <laughs> dr kavita if you want yes promise come to lahore so you have passed mcps you have passed mcps you just passed mcps or not yes i have passed mcps of course so you can become our faculty say first become a member then a faculty okay. and then submit hmm. the fees and that's, that's <laughs> that is that nice will be for all of you <laughs> okay great then <laughs> percent uh, faculty 20% <laughs> and this, this is a um, at least people should get some benefit from association of course like, that's that's that should be like this uh, yes yeah, of course i appreciate so how generous we are huh? so so dr varda varda gil for mrcgp uh, and uh, it, ielts is compulsory or not no for mrc gp international ielts is not necessary it's just a clinical exam in the south asian region just simple spoken english is required can you join this course after 3 years of doing house job directly dr varda if you have five year experience then you can pass the written exam and then you can join this course i think if you are a fresh you must uh, first uh, complete five years of experience then apply for the exam dr atala khan the great after long time walikum salam acha okay dr aisha baloch assalam alaikum dr aisha khadud from kse if you want to go to ua how many days mock difficult to go to ua then should attend online what dates are not finalized dr aisha uh ua course will be five days four days of training in one day of mock ڈاکٹر امتیاز احمد السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈاکٹر فوزیہ شمس آئی ایم فرام کراچی کین اونلی ٹیک موک اونلی ڈاکٹر فوزیہ ایم آر سی جی پی ایگزام از ایکسپینسو یو ہیو پی 2 لاکھ روپیز فار ایگزام اینڈ یو وانٹ ٹو ٹیک رسک ٹو ریپیٹ جسٹ کم ٹو لاہور فور ڈیز کم Three days, right? Just attend. Don't waste your opportunity. Final mock is just small tip of the iceberg. Okay, don't take risks. Doctor Rahmat Asif, sir, thank you so much for giving us this platform. Jazakallah, thank you. Future plans so once or C courses be conducted Islamabad or Pindi. Islamabad or Pindi will be difficult for us. So for the time being, Lahore and future Karachi. Lahore covers the north of Pakistan. Dr. Sunny Dev, Assalamu alaikum, alaikum salam. Dr. Sibha Usman, kindly speak one by one. Ah, uh, Dr. Sibha. Sir, one question from my side too. Ji. Sir, Ji, if sir. someone comes from Karachi, he will stay how many days in Lahore? Full days, eight days. Sir, minimum will be what will be? Sorry. Sir, minimum. You can give me minimum count so we can manage it. Look, we. in one day you will come in nine we'll give nine days stays nine days stays in the same hotel and if you cannot come for nine days you can come for eight if you cannot come for eight you can come for seven if you not come for seven six five whatever is feasible and possible for you so you can come in the beginning you can leave early you can come late so full package is eight days of training nine stay night stays and whatever is possible for you you can do you can choose acha doctor assalam alaikum sir ji wa alaikum assalam ji how are you sir tahira ji i am dr tahira from dubai uh, last time we met i am dr johar zawair he was the examiner which you remember <laughs> great 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 how are you so good this time you are This time you are appearing. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have passed my MRC GP written exam. Alhamdulillah. Now I am appearing appearing in the Viva. Inshallah. You have a teacher at your home. Your husband is a teacher, so he can train you. Just ask him not no, no, to. No, no. Gharki, gharki too much. Gharki murti dal baba. Sir, I want to join you in the faculty after my my MRC GP. Inshallah, okay. most welcome most welcome most welcome we are planning to come to dubai once this exam uh, finishes to hold our master trainer courses 
on weekends okay. how to teach how to conduct workshops how to deliver a lecture how to give feedbacks the skills of a trainer inshallah inshallah so thank you so much next uh, next question is sir, dr faisal is dr faisal is available sir now Achha, okay, sir, sir, sir i want to ask uh, for the karachi uh, vivas are you providing any uh, stay hotel stay or yeah, any recommend to any hotel near the uh, office i must it be uh, where we can stay like this uh, either you can stay in uh, the venue where we are conducting or you can stay in the region plaza Uh, or the beach luxury hotel uh, where the exam will be conducted it's up to you either you want to stay in the mock exam venue or in the real exam venue the real exam beach luxury is slightly expensive but mehran is not okay. that expensive ji so, so dr we have to come only come for Jee. only one two days like this sorry ha huh. okay uh, three days light or one huh? day for revision one day for mock and one day for the real exam Okay, if the exam starts on twenty five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, if somebody has exam twenty A on eighth, so will you be uh, having their uh, conducting their mocks and and uh, revision on twenty six and twenty seven? Yes, for twenty six, twenty seven, we are we are conducting for two days course for the candidates of day one, two, three, and four, and then for five and six separate hmm. course, seven and eight separate course, repeating the same course oh. again and again. लाहौर Karachi and Lahore are two parts of one course. Initial big intensive part, later small final polishing part. They are not two separate parallel courses. All right, sir. Okay. All right. Let Let me complete the questions first, and then uh, Dr. Sumaira Imran. If you want to attend mock or skis in Karachi, we can go do it. With no separate mock exam. It's not a separate exam. It's part of the big course. I just finish MCPS with your help of clear so join this course. Thank you, Dr. Javeria. God bless you, Dr. Rehmat, Dr. Rehmat Asif. Sir, is there any extra charges for this upcoming OSCE course in Lahore? How much, please? We especially female doctors face stay issues. Are you willing to come to Lahore? Any? Okay, Dr. Rehmat uh, Asif. Uh, I I think name is different. The uh, airport pick and drop. hotel stay in the same venue and and to airport again everything from breakfast to dinner same place mock in the same place so that's to facilitate candidates from outside so they don't have to travel long distances especially suited for female candidates so nothing to worry about stay it's the same venue Dr. Asif Javed, sir, for preparation dates of MRCGP CSA, the next course will you be able to conduct in month of July 2024? Or, uh, Dr. Asif, we are <laughs> we are bogged up with this course. Not we are not thinking about July. Once we finish this, then we'll think of the next course. Dr. Amin Khan, can you tell about MRCGP int? Oh. Acha, excuse me, sir. We are doing preparation from the Dr. Rahil's note. Are they recommended? Will you recommend them? This is the only thing available. We have revised it. Almost a final touching. Four doctors and fifth is myself and sixth is Rahil. Though now it's a big effort. Uh, proofreading, uh, removing duplications, adding more pictures. Hundreds of pictures have been added, uh, photographed in Pakistani subjects. So it you will enjoy this uh, new book. Think, Dr. When is the new book coming? Inshallah, it, it will be ready by the course. Can okay. you tell about him, Asif, Dr. Amin? And Dr. Amin, yes, Zulekha wala kaam hamse nahi hoga. Can you tell about him, Asif? Can you tell these are the candidates who have passed exam, written exam? Ab bhot mushkil hai ki we start with ABC. Dr. Afshil Rais. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Can we take only mock in Karachi? You can take, but that will not help you. The take the full course. That will, inshallah, 
make you pass the exam in first attempt. How many steps and preparatory courses from theory? How many steps and preparatory courses from theory? I don't understand. Sorry, not I mean sorry, I could not understand. Not a West Khan. I mean, K say is there all course online? Please, no, it's not an online. It's a blended course. Some online components, some hands-on components, some mock component, some Google Classroom. Talib Elim Sab. Those who will attend UAE course will have to mock test in Karachi before exam. Mock test. Mock test in Karachi is for all candidates. Either they come from Dubai or they come from Lahore. Everybody will converge in Karachi at the site of exam. There they will have the final touch together. Candidates from Dubai in Lahore, inshallah, they will attend the final part together. Dr. Hina Javis, guys from KSA, can we make a group to study together uh, across into our time schedule? Yes, this is a very good suggestion. So you can have a group discussion, practice each other, and give feedback to each other. Dr. Nafisa Khalid. Sir, we can contact, connect from KSA. Should we drop WhatsApp here? I can just, I can understand. For registration, you, you just uh, contact Mr. Rishtiag. He is coordinating the registrations. Dr. Sarvat Asif, please do some arrangement for KSA candidates. Uh, Dr. Sarvat, in this exam, we cannot uh, do extra for KSA. Either they have to come to Lahore or to come to Dubai, whatever is feasible and cheaper for them. Sorry, we don't have the capacity to do this. In future, maybe yes, inshallah. Dr. Fariha Manzoor, okay, you are giving numbers, so please arrange. Uh, Dr. Nafisa Khalid, I think some should create group and link them. Yes, you can create your groups. Once doctors register with us, what we do is, for example, 30, 40 of you register. So we then share the numbers with each other. So then you can make groups. So this becomes one group. Now, since people are not registered, we, we cannot share the numbers with, uh, with openly. So once they are registered in one course, then they can have a list of participants to make their groups. Take a Dr. Fariha. I really like to facilitate Dr. Nasir Shah in their program of OSCE, especially in Karachi. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fariha. Dr. Muhammad Awais, make one Nafisa. Dr. Farwa Tirmzi. She's sharing her number. Is there a course available in Abu Dhabi? Uh, Dr. Sangeeta, uh, not in Abu Dhabi yet, Dubai. Okay. Uh, next. Assalamualaikum, sir. Yes, Waalaikum, Salaam, Dr. Aisha. Yes, sir. Do you want to tell the Dubai? Because the one who has given us the registration, there is no physical session in Dubai. There is no information in the same course. The same course. In five days will be covered. Uh, once the dates are confirmed, the venue is confirmed. If we share something which is not confirmed, then, then it creates confusion. So tentative dates we have shared the first week of February or last week of January in Dubai, most likely in Hill, uh, jo, that City Max Hotel, or God forbid. We cannot get the uh, booking, so another hotel. So once things are confirmed, uh, then you can do. But what what is easy that you can register. So you have two options, either come to Lahore or Dubai. So you, you will book your seat. That's uh, the part. The fees is same, process is same, uh, everything is same. So once the Dubai venue is open, you can go there, don't come to Lahore. Okay, thank you, sir. Sir, actually, I'm from Saudi. Uh, I was. It's easy for me to travel to Dubai than to the Hall. Fine, it's fine. Okay. Dr. Farooq Sultan Sab. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum. What will be the timing of two days of Mehran Hotel before OSCE exam? The timing of final two days of revision and mock. For revision, it will be nine to five. 
and for mock it will be a two and a half hour mock some people will have mock in the morning some people will have mock in the evening so the next day mock is only for two and a half or no, no, sorry three three and a half hours because there's one hour for feedback so three and a half hours uh, for the mock dr hira faraz is it possible that we could attend last two days revision in karachi and then mock before the exam the last two days is one day revision and one day mock you can attend but the benefit will not be as much as for full course dr imja thank you so much for your comments hi hi dr imja rulayenge kya dr imja is putting so much comments so much compliments dr imja assalam alaikum bas ab main ansu nikal ayenge so thank you so much for your love dr meera hani 343 okay me 343 this was a previously there was a gun 303 so this is 343 maybe a missile sir please arrange your classes at festabad to allah festabad once the candidates we have enough candidates from islamabad festabad then we can arrange otherwise it's not feasible it is a very costly a course so much arrangement so much payment so much expensive acha dr sarwad how many hours for one class dekhi how many hours for one class dr sarwad online sessions are 3 hours each the full day session in lahore and they are 9 to 5 and with practice they 9 to 7 the karachi karachi session one day is 9 to 5 second day is 3 hour and a half hours real thoughts real thoughts is which course is offered here real thoughts this course is about mrcgp oski preparatory course dr ehsanullah can i can a can candidate be adjusted at earlier mock test if he has the real exam at 7 or 8 for dot asanula for candidates day 7 and 8 we are holding a revision and mock on day 5 and 6 so to you can come two days before your exam and attend the revision and the mock exam dr kamran khan sir dubai is expensive lahore its cia mosque ko session arrange kar le please okay fine dr kamran can come to dubai lahore fees is same but courtesies are more in lahore dr farhana if i take online of lahore classes how can we sit whole day dr farhana there is no of lahore session that is called hands on practical session so it's not in online online sessions are separate that is throughout the world from saudi arab dubai karachi everybody can attend online they are separate hands on practical sessions are separate for that you have to come there will be no recordings only recording will be provided of the mock exam to the specific candidate confidentially otherwise you will share these funny videos in the social media dr faris ali mehran hotel is cheaper yes dr afshin rais assalam alaikum i have done mphil molecular Uh, medicine and mrcgp part 1 i am going to give part 2 add me in your faculty uh dr afshi it's very nice uh, of you to offer your services but for cim faculty uh, you should have at least one family medicine qualification once you pass mrcgp then you can come into our faculty because your mphil is not in family medicine dr jazeer mustafa i am planning to give exam in chennai do you have another oski course before that all oh, no chennai no no we pakistanis can not come to india and indians cannot come to pakistan we are bad neighbors dr aisha aslam assalam alaikum wa rahmatullahi sir how much for online course for mrcgp oski this is one course 
not bits and pieces. This is called blended course, online, hands-on, mocks, everyone, everything is a part of a big course. It's not in bits and pieces. How long is the duration of this course? It's two months. Dr. Sir, if I take your mock course and pass in first attempt, so what is your advice? Should I take OSCE course too? Yes, Dr. Sarvan, why not? We are putting so much efforts, so much coordination, so much pains in arranging this course. It's one of the biggest course in the world. Eight days intensive, planned and online and mocks and everything. Even Royal Colleges do not arrange such courses. Dr. Moazama Shah, sir, what about the candidates who did not clear their theory exam yet? So those who have not passed AKT, they should first pass AKT and then come to the OSCE course. Dr. Abdul Hafiz, kindly give me, sir, sir, I am very new and don't know ABC of this, but highly interested to join as a MRCB course semester OSCE and fee structure and any other relevant information. Dr. Abdul Hafiz, you can go to the MRCGP International South Asia website and get the TTSF exam or you can um, the numbers are there. Uh, people have shared their numbers in the chat box. You can get numbers of uh, any boy, not girl, and discuss the details with him. So we don't have time to discuss all this because we have separately discussed uh, months ago. Dr. Umar Usman, how can we register? Just uh, share your number with Ishtiaq and he will give you the link. Just fill the online link. Nice to listen to you, sir. Thank you. Dr. Amjad says, always with you as you, my mentor and my legend family medicine, Dr. Amjad Ali. Thank you so much, Jazakallah. Dr. Rehmat Asif, sir, one last query. Okay. We are students of July 23 batch. Still, we can take these course, OSCE courses for our experience and gaining confidence, though practically we are studying the modules uploaded now. Dr. Rehmat. This is an expensive course. Don't waste money in just experience. When your time will come, then join. Sorry. Dr. Asanullah. Yes, Anyone? Sir. Yes. Sir, Who was that? Dr. Rasul, I just want to take advantage. I just saw that Dr. Zia. So if you give me permission, I just say a few words for the Dr. Zia. Really. Uh, uh, without his help him. and his kindness, uh, the way he taught us, the way he bear us, uh, really it was amazing. And uh, without his help, it was, uh, I think, it was quite difficult for us. So our prayer, our best wishes to always to Dr. Zia from Gee. me, from my group. From Jee. UAE especially. Jee. Dr. Ziaul Hassan is currently working as an assistant professor in CIFM and he has a lot of experience in teaching. He has done MCPS, MRCGP, um, so many exams and he's teaching the trainers. So Dr. Zia, uh, sorry for forgetting you. Please pardon me if you can uh, unmute your mic and uh, start your camera and uh, say a few words to the participants. Though, sir, I was a very bad student, <laughs> but without, sir. So, so, Dr. Rasul, you, you, are, you are a very good student. Uh, all the badge was very fantastic, and uh, you did it well. And actually, it is a teamwork led by the Dr. Nasir Shah. Whatever I have myself been a student of Dr. Nasir Shah, and I have everything learned from him. And now we are able to spread it to others. And this is the vision of Dr. Nasir Shah to just keep spreading the knowledge. And uh, Alhamdulillah, one day you all people will be one of our examiners in our mock, uh, mock uh, setups, inshallah ta'ala. And you have done very well in the exam, Dr. Rasul, and all other batch. Thank you, Hello, sir, uh, for your Dr. Zia. Feedback. Yes, sir. Dr. 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 Faisal is holding his hand. Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, Dr. Faisal. Yeah. I'm long. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, sir, your comment. Dr. Faisal is our hero. <laughs> Hello, sir. I just want to say a few few lines no, about sir. your course. Actually, uh, it is not a costly course. It is a 
ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് <laughs> in the dubai side they will join one sir will come here uh, and other thing let's read the dr rahil books also where page excellent and because they review it and other symptom solver are also very good and prepare try to prepare now and prepare well because if you read something they will enhance uh, dr uh, shah and uh, dr zia will enhance your uh, quality of presentation and how to pick the case and what is what you say in our punjabi like what is the kundi in the case like what you want to say and you have to find it very nicely and then everything become very nice i i remember my exam i was like uh, first four case as extraordinary only one case which i am 50 50 otherwise out of 14 13 and a half are perfectly and try to pass all case just uh, make this one and this course is really marvelous and wonderful i'm not that i'm that i'm a fan of dr shah and dr uh, the other team but uh, it really help us to uh, pass the exam and as well as the gain the good knowledge and anything we are here in the dubai uh we have all close friends and we can provide all the material and everything which you want we can discuss the case because he memorizes it's not in the brain it is in the spinal cord yes sir thank you for this uh, giving me time hello yes yes sir yes, yes. uh, thank you so much uh, dr sir you are muted sir sir you are muted sir Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, Zakala. So let me go to the questions. Uh, those who questions who are left, Doctor um, Amjad. Now, sir, good news for MRCG paint as partially recognized in Australia. Yes, it is partially recognized in Australia. Doctor Jazeer Mustafa says, I mean to have a course in Dubai before the exam in Chennai. So the course of Dubai is in last week of January or July. You can use this course for Chennai as well. you can participate in online but the final no, 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 no. you you will miss the final touch the final no, mock exam no. revision okay no, no, no. dr uh, farooq sultan says sir please uh, place your online uh, lectures on 31st and 30th in late evenings yes we are planning to hold all the online session in late evenings dr sunny dev sir i am past mrcgp and eligible for oski how much chance in oski if someone failed in first attempt then again they will paid fees for the next attempt uh um i am not exactly and uh, trying i don't get your point past mrc gp and eligible for oski how much chances in oski is so, there are three chances to pass oski after akt if you do not pass in three attempts then you have to take the written again dr yunus 2013 sir i want to appear in mrcgp theory this year please help me about dates so that i can co complete my preparation thanks uh, mrcgp dates are on mrcgp south asia website you can get the full calendar from there dot in sir to see great or oh, really wonderful way of teaching thank you jazakallah dr yunus dr mahish umair uh, exactly for sanasha and sir zia also are one of the best icons in our team jazakallah dr mahish dr mahish is leading family medicine at ibnisina hospital karachi she is a wonderful teacher and very pleasant person thank you dr mahish dr asanullah can we arrange karachi mock at beach luxury hotel no dr uh, asanullah there will be a lot of confusion in beach luxury we will not go even near to the beach luxury dr farwat rezi sir what is the location of real oski uh, beach luxury hotel 
or it may be on the website of MRCGP. Dr. Ume Jafri, Assalamu alaikum. I have experience in general medicine now. I am planning to do MRCGP, but I am a little bit confused. I don't know much about uh, peers, guy, anything. Dr. Ume Jafri, you can join the online course. Then we will teach you peers, gynae, derma, psychiatry, orthopedics, everything, inshallah. And then you can pass the exam. The doctor's fees will be same or again paid for MRCGP. Every time you attempt MRCGP, you have to pay the fee separately. You, you have attempt three times, you have to pay three times. Dr. Sir, Amna, uh, sir, you had to arrange a session in Lahore uh, from 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 18, 19. Sir, will we get uh, online videos of these days? No, this is hands on, this is not online. Any videos, those who appear in mock exam, then they will get. Will, will we get from any video? No, 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 no. It will not be broadcasted. It's hand on residential training, intensive training. This is hands on. Dr. Amna says, Sir, is preparatory course includes the same material which have gone through in MCPS? Yes, it's the same course. Is a two in one course both for MCPS and MRCGP. Dr. Faisal Ramzan, Aslam Alikhan, I passed both MCPS and MRCGP in first attempt. All thanks to Dr. Nasir Shah and his team, especially Dr. Zia, really helped us to pass MRCGP. Keep doing the wonderful job. May Allah bless you. May Allah bless you too. May Allah bless all of us, all our families. Um, Aslam Alikhan. Sir. Ji, Dr. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, sorry, sir, to disturb you. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm uh, already uh, I have already passed MCA, MCPS by your course, Alhamdulillah, and I am a CFIM member. But uh, it's not possible for me to come to Lahore because there's a difference in the dates between the Lahore and the March. Uh, so we we could not take uh, the vacations. I can attend online and the five days of Karachi only. So it will be enough for me. My question is that five days of Karachi is Karachi is only two days one day revision, what, about one this, day. what about this one two and third uh, that is the same uh, course March. same uh -huh. two day course repeated three times same course repeated three times okay just help the candidates okay so uh, so sir my question is that if I will attend online and then the Karachi one so it will be enough for me to <laughs> Clear the exam, <laughs> but it will help. But it will not be enough. But what you can do is that in Karachi, those who have passed, you can connect with those who have repassed our faculty members, sit with them, practice with them. That might help you. There's so many people who have passed MRCGP in in Karachi, so you can discuss with them. One day go to somebody else, one day to other, based on convenience. Practice with them. They can give you feedback. That's a good and a good remedy for you. Thank you, sir. So nice, sir. Ahmed Zahran, Doctor Ahmed Zahran, sir. I am from Sri Lanka, and I am coming to Karachi two days before the exam. So, is it possible to do the course online, full course? No, Doctor Ahmed Zahran. It's not a. It's a blended course. There is an online component which you can join, but the hands-on session is not online. Okay, but why can't? Why don't you come to Dubai? Uh, for five days, attend that intensive course and then we attend the Karachi one. Dr. Rabia, all the property courses by organization are so good to pass exam. Thank you, Dr. Rabia. Dr. Uh, Amna Khan, so this property exam will be conducted in both Lahore and Karachi. No, Dr. Amna, this course has two components hands on. One is the major training, which will, which will be conducted in uh, Lahore. And then small revision component, which will be in Karachi. It's not in two cities. OK. So Dr. Ataullah, can I get Dr. Rasul Rahil's book? Yes, once it is prepared, you can get it. Anybody can get it. I, Dr. Sankita, I passed AKT in November. Dr. Ataullah, is there any soft copy? No, there's no soft copy in hard copy. Uh, is 
uh, hard copy will be printed and it will be dispatched to you. I, uh, Dr. Sangeeta, can I book course February attempts? I book, uh, I book course February attempt. Will it not be too early? Dr. Sangeeta, February attempt. Sorry, Dr. Sangeeta, I could not get February. If you passed AKT and you are appearing in uh, March, then February is a good time. Achha. Yes, yes, sir, uh, Dr. Sangeeta here. Uh, can I take one minute to speak, please? Can you hear me? Yeah, uh, actually, I passed my KT in November after preparing two and a half months only, and which I think it was very quick and short <laughs> preparatory course. And uh, I was actually thinking to attend this February, March, uh, but, you know, I was actually worried maybe it's too early and very short time for the preparation. I wish to, to come visit me after two weeks. Sir, you are not audible, sir. So that I can address the report. Okay. Sir, we can't hear you. Assalamu alaikum, sir. I want to ask, uh, can I also join as a member in your college? I have done my MPhil uh, molecular medicine. I have done part one in MRC GP also. Sir, we cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. You are not coming. I think Dr. Nasir's signals are not complete on your side. That's why the rest of the people are not listening. Okay. Let me change the network. Sir, if you want to off the video, maybe you will be audible. Now it's clear. Now it's clear. Now it's clear, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now it's clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now it's clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now it's clear. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's go. So, uh, uh, Dr. Afshi, your qualification, MPhil, is not in family medicine. So, once you pass uh, the OSCE, then you can join us as a faculty, as a member. Uh, two months are Sangeeta, Dr. Sangeeta, two months are enough. And uh, we try to help those candidates in two months' time with this intensive blended course. And most of the uh, doctors pass, inshallah. You will also pass. If you have, can pass AKT in two and a half months, uh, OSCE is more, uh, it's easier. AKT is more difficult. Okay, next to last questions. Yes, Dr. Zingita, we'll get a treat from you, inshallah. <laughs> we are treat hungry. Once candidates pass, we are so happy. We, we uh, demand treat from everyone, inshallah. So questions are over, I think. Yes. Uh, I, I I think I have tried to answer most of the questions and uh, I just copy the contents and to save their numbers uh, and hopefully those who are interested can talk to Ishtiaq and get yourself registered either from Lahore or from Dubai. Rest of the online component and the Karachi component will remain same for candidates of Dubai and Lahore. Those who are our members of the CIFM, they will have a 10% discount. Those who are a faculty of CIFM, they will receive a 20% discount. And Lahore uh, will try to facilitate candidates through pick and drop, accommodation and everything will be covered in the same fee, uh, nothing extra. The same fee will be charged from Dubai candidates. There we cannot uh, afford to pay them uh, the accommodation and the travel thing then there we will arrange our own accommodation for Dubai. 
so and that's my closing comments and i wish you well and i wish you success in exam in real life and the message last message is again my starting slide it's a journey of education we should learn and teach learn and teach anything we learn in this world which i try to teach others and this is the only way for development of our society of our culture our medical education our general practice if we share knowledge holding back knowledge and skills and things to oneself and taking these things to grave is really a grave mistake collective mistake so we want to share anything anything we have with you people before we leave this world and then you share everything you have with others before then you leave this world and this will go on okay thank you so much god bless you all any I think I've lost com Assalamu alaikum sir Ji wa alaikum assalam Dr Shazia Ji sir samvat se hu kaise hain aap Ji alhamdulillah Ji sir mera pass ho gaya hai thank you so much Jazakallah aage bhi chala pass Inshallah most of the most of the inshallah second exam bhi pass ho jayega and you will succeed inshallah in life and in profession थैंक यू सो मच सर इनशाला अभी तो एम सी पी एस हुआ है उसमें हम लोगों के बहुत सारे हमारे कोर्स के मेम्बर्स क्लियर किए सब ने मेजोरिटी ने इस्तीफा आप कह रहे थे ना कि लास्ट टाइम रिजल्ट अच्छा नहीं आया था फिफ्टी परसेंट का तो इस्तीफा तो बहुत अच्छा रिजल्ट आया मेरे ख्याल में एम सी पी एस का चले माशा माशा जी और इस्लामाबाद में कोई थी उस टाइम पे हमारी जो एग्जामिनर वो पूछ रही थी कहती हैं आप भी डॉक्टर नासिर शाह के ग्रुप से हैं उन उनसे पढ़ा है मैंने कहा जीत कहती है सब ने उनसे पढ़ा है मैंने कहा यहाँ पे हमारे मेंटर हमारे मोटिवेटर तो वही हैं उन्होंने यहाँ पे इंट्रोड्यूस कराया है और सबको अच्छा 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 पता नहीं उनका क्या नाम था लेकिन ये कि ओवरऑल आपका कोर्स जो आपने जितना हमें पढ़ाया जितना मटीरियल वो हमारे लिए बहुत ज़्यादा नफ मोर देन नफ था और आपका जो एक्सपीरियंस टीचिंग का और जो हमें आपने जैसे टीच किया जो जो टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स थी वो सब हमारे बहुत ज्यादा काम आई एग्जाम में भी और अब प्रैक्टिकली भी चलो नहीं जजाकल्लाह आ गया और भी कामयाबी दे थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच अभी सर ये एमआरसीजीपी के लिए फिर आप नए सिरे से कोर्स हमें भेजेंगे आ अब आपके 2 साल पूरे तो नहीं हुए ना नहीं अभी तो सिर्फ एमसीपीएस का हुआ है क्लियर नहीं एमसीपीएस कोर्स में अगर 2 साल तक आपके पास सब्सक्रिप्शन है उसी को वो है मेरे पास वो तो भी है 2 साल नहीं हुए ठीक है वही है वही है मुफ्त में पड़े कोर्स वही है कोर्स वही मुफ्त में पढ़े हम करते जाएं ठीक है ठीक है थैंक यू सो मच सर जजाकल्लाह थैंक यू जजाकल्लाह थैंक यू सो मच इफ देयर नो मोर क्वेश्चंस वी कैन क्लोज दिस एंड से गुड बाय अल्लाह हाफिज टू एवरीवन और ठीक सो विद योर परमिशन विद योर परमिशन आई एम क्लोजिंग दिस सेशन एंड इश्ताक विल शेयर द रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ दिस सेशन विद यू पीपल ठीक थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू अल्लाह हाफिज